I was in Haiti with Compassion International and I was there to film stories of mothers and babies who live in poverty. I had just returned to the Hotel Montana at the end of my second day of filming and that's when the earthquake struck and immediately experienced uh, explosive sounds. The ground started to, to ripple under my feet. I saw the walls start to move. And within seconds, the entire hotel had collapsed around and on top of me. I found myself plunged into complete darkness. Um, I was completely disoriented. I couldn't see anything. Uh, I felt pain in my leg and uh, touched my head and could, could, see, uh, could feel blood on my hand. I found myself um, in a constant battle to keep hope alive, to fight against despair. And I also found myself on a spiritual journey because I called out to God. I asked Him to rescue me. I asked Him to get me out of this. Um, but I also knew that that may not be His will. And so if I was going to die here, um, could I trust him with that outcome? If I wasn't going to get back to my wife and my two small boys, can I trust God to take care of them? Can I trust God, no matter the outcome, that he will bring good out of it? I was despairing of the opportunity that, that rescuers might ever come for me. And as I called out to God, he told me, worship me. And so in that place, at the bottom of a collapsed hotel in complete darkness, I did, I worshiped God. The love that I felt from God in those moments gave me an assurance that God was with me. And I heard his voice in my head say, trust me with everything. And in that moment, I did. I trusted him with my rescue. I trusted him with my death. I trusted him with the care of my family if I never made it out of there, and I could leave it completely in his hands. After that worship experience with God, I, um, I still struggled with uh, moments of despair. I still struggled with feelings of, um, am I gonna be lost here? And it was at that moment that in the sh shaft above the elevator, I saw the light on the helmet of my rescuer. And he said, I am coming for you. I am, I am going to get you out of here. And within a minute, he was with me, and he had water, and he had a flashlight, and that was sanity and hope. And I knew in that moment that I was not abandoned, that, that I was going home. Within an hour after the rescuer came in the elevator with me, I was, I was out, and I was feeling the sun on my face and I was on my way, on my way back home to be with my family.